One of the suspects arrested in this case is a resident of Avery County. The other is a Burke County resident. They were taken into custody following a late Saturday night traffic stop. Police reportedly seized fentanyl during their investigation. Both suspects remained in jail here in Burke County as of earlier today, and they were both scheduled to appear in court today. 35-year-old Eric Seth Adams of Laurel Hill Road in Newland and 58-year-old Rodney Winfred Crisp of Ed Bowman Street in Glen Alpine were arrested Saturday by Morganton Public Safety officers. Both suspects are charged with felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Adams is additionally charged with misdemeanor counts of probation violation and damage to property. Shortly after 11 p.m. Saturday, a public safety officer initiated a traffic stop on West Fleming Drive in Morganton. The officer came into contact with the front passenger in the vehicle, Eric Adams, and the back passenger, Rodney Crisp. During the investigation, the officer reportedly seized 0.3 grams of fentanyl. Both suspects were arrested and taken to the Burke County Jail. Adams is on probation as a result of a conviction in August of last year in Burke County on a charge of misdemeanor driving while impaired, he received probation and a 12-month suspended sentence. According to the North Carolina Department of Adult Correction Offender Public Information website, Adams has multiple felony and misdemeanor convictions, all in Burke County dating back to 2012. The same website shows multiple felony and misdemeanor convictions for CRISP as well, all of the convictions, with the exception of one, were in Burke County. His criminal history dates back to 2000. The most recent conviction was in August of 2021 in Burke County. Following their arrests, both suspects were placed in the Burke County Jail. Adams under $8,000 secured bond. Crisp under no bond on a 48-hour hold or until a judge becomes available. Both suspects were scheduled to appear in district court today. Reporting from Burke County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News.